Here's a look at temperatures as you head out the door on this Thursday morning. Not in the teens this morning, but instead in the 30s, at least still above freezing. 33 here in Fort Wayne, only a single degree above freezing. Compare that to 39 over in Warsaw, just shy of 40 degrees. 35 in Huntington, 34 at the moment in Markle, 35 in Defiance, and 37 right now in Van Wert. So at least we're starting to improve from yesterday. Our trade-off, though, no sunshine today. We're looking at mostly cloudy skies. These clouds will thicken up as the day goes on, and this is the energy that we'll be tracking throughout the day today. That brings us the rain showers as this slowly pushes over to the east and comes into our region. So future track will show you we stay dry for a good half of the day. Once we get a little closer to the late afternoon, early evening, about 430 on future track, noticing a couple of scattered rain showers. Rain becomes more widespread and heavy as we go through the night and really into tomorrow morning, 4 a.m. at this point, and we're still dealing with a soggy Friday morning commute. Rain will not last for long on Friday, though, so if you're doing anything for St. Patrick's Day, just keep in mind those rain showers really move out of here by about mid-morning, and we dry out after that. However, when it comes to any St. Patty's Day plans, it's not the rain you're worried about. It's the whipping winds and the temperature crash. Wind gusts both today and tomorrow will start to really kick up 30 to 40 miles per hour, and it will even leave us a little bit breezy on Saturday, too. Temperatures rise today. That's why we get into the 50s. We'll push into the 50s a little closer to the late afternoon. Here's where we go. Low 50s in our area, even mid 50s down to the south. As we go towards tonight, temperatures don't fall all that much. We hold fairly steady because of those rain showers because the cold front hasn't come through quite yet. That cold front comes through tomorrow morning. We start out the day at about 4 or 5 a.m. with temperatures in the upper 40s to low 50s. So this is what qualifies as our high temperatures on St. Patrick's Day, but it doesn't tell the full story because shortly afterwards that cold front comes through as the rain moves out. Temperatures crash into the 30s throughout the day, and because of those whipping winds, wind chills will be back into the 20s. And really just kicks off that cold trend. We'll be in the low 20s for Friday night. Saturday, we don't even break freezing. We still stay pretty gusty with winds up to 30 miles per hour. Temperatures only pushing into the upper 20s, but we recover after that. We're back in the 30s for Sunday and 40s and 50s for next week and the start of spring. Okay, Liz, thank you so much. Well, today